Residents of Tutera in Hawke's Bay are fuming after Waka Kotahi closed State Highway 2 again last night. It means about 200 people are now effectively living on an island with no road open north to Wairoa or south to Napier. And as Alexa Cook reports, it could be months until it opens again. Nearly a month on from Cyclone Gabrielle and State Highway 2 is still in an absolute state. Until now, two Tera residents could use the road, but not anymore. Waka Kotahi closed it last night. There's a lot of anger in this community and I think that anger is involving an access now. The road was cordoned off after geotechnical engineers found significant rockfall and landslide risks, especially in areas like this, where the road cuts right across a large, unstable hill face. We're sort of signalling it could be up to three months, so we really feel for the communities of Tutera and Potorino and those that are cut off. This sign has been installed on State Highway 2 near Tutera because from tomorrow Waka Kotahi is using helicopters to dump large buckets of water on the road and try and dislodge loose debris and boulders that are at risk of falling on traffic. It's just a really quite a dangerous environment at the moment. So a local forestry company is building its own road from Tutera to Te Pohui to help residents get access to Napier. We need good access. We have stock to go out. There's animal welfare issues, there's community issues, we have people that work in town. Those farmers are now living on a seriously scarred landscape where the hills look like they're crying after Mother Nature tore strips from their sides. While on State Highway 5 from Napier to Taupo, there are several major washouts and Te Pohui residents are relying on donated supplies. We got supplies in here fairly quickly um, and other people we only just supplied them yesterday. Supplies that'll soon be easier to access because Waka Kotahi is expecting State Highway 5 to open by the end of the month. That will be good news for companies like Emerson's Transport. We're doing probably in excess of 10 to 15,000 kilometres a day more to achieve the same turnaround. Everyone hoping these lifelines can be restored as quickly as possible. Alexa Cook joins us live from Napier. Alexa, there is a severe thunderstorm warning for Hawke's Bay this afternoon. That must be a worry. That's right, Laura. There was a short but very intense thunderstorm which caused some surface flooding. Fire and emergency say they had a flurry of calls during the storm, but that it thankfully passed through rather quickly and there's been no reports of damage. There was, however, a lot of lightning and that struck uh, one tree and set it alight. And the problem here, of course, is that any amount of rain causes quite a lot of worry for this region because even the smallest amount of rainfall can put those fragile access roads at risk of being washed away. Alexa Cook, live from Napier, Tinakwe.